now this is what you get on this channel a, a standy of rm ignore him what is up crackhead nation it's the girl princess galaxy and i am going to be going on <sighs> guys i don't even know how to describe what I want to do. You know when you have an idea in your head and you're like, oh my gosh, this is like amazing. And then you tell it to someone and then you're like, maybe this is just as weird as I thought it would be. So today I am going to start my K-pop SM. What am I talking about? SM? Wait, is that why they call it Super M? Open your third eye. I am going to be couch surfing the entire United States while following Super M on tour. Um, first of all, no, I'm not a sauce saying, but if I follow Super M on tour, I mean, I'm going to be doing all of my favorite things in the span of like three months. So yeah, I am actually doing this. So here are all the tour dates on the screen. If you have any resources or if you know anyone who's going to be staying at these tour dates, let me know because, um, we can meet and I guess I can be known as just like that girl that's just traveling around America and seeing Super M. Also, one thing I didn't notice that would make this challenge a lot easier is the fact that it's kind of broken up into like three sections, but it also says more to come. So I don't know what that's about. Hajima, I think they're probably gonna end up going to Mexico City. I don't wanna get like Mexican Super M stance too excited, but um, if they announce more in North America, I will be going. It's not my job to know the how, I just know that I wanna see Super M and I wanna meet you guys. And this is gonna be a whole challenge and it's gonna be a community-based thing where we're basically just going along this journey together across America for K-pop. <laughs> I'll give you guys a backstory on me. Ever since I was younger, I've always had these weird, wacky ideas. And actually the main reason why I started YouTube is to do those weird, wacky ideas. And obviously this is one of them. But I've always felt like, I've been to like 20 concerts my whole life and I'm 20 years old. And I've always felt so much love and comfort when I was in the presence of K-pop fans. And I just love being around you guys. I love meeting like, not just like, you know, us like our my subscribers but i also love meeting k-pop fans whenever i go to concerts i always feel protected like no matter what when i saw bts two nights at soldier field i felt like i literally made like 10 to 20 friends <laughs> like i talked to them like every day when i saw blackpink at the all-state arena i like everyone was always looking out for each other and it just felt like such a huge like k-pop family and that's one of the reasons why i fell in love with k-pop in the first place because i was just this lonely middle schooler who loved koreans and learned about k-pop and korean culture and everyone made fun of me and k-pop was that one thing that one thing that i could always rely on to just help me get through something you know i mean like middle school like puberty fan fiction like it's just a mess of a time and so i want to do this because like i said not only do i love k-pop concerts but i also love talking to people now i've been on the internet for a lot of years and i understand that a lot of people you know that i know who are internet savvy do not like people but i am a people person if you guys know Meyer briggs i am an enfp so i am extroverted and I love perceiving and interacting with people. And one of the reasons, like I said, why I wanted to do this is because I love, like I said, I just love people. I love meeting fans at K-pop concerts. I love talking to you guys. I love fangirling about Lucas, you know? I just love just interacting and feel like lighting each other up. Like that is just so fun. And so I want to just embark on this because I know this is gonna be like crazy. I'm gonna meet so many fans of so many different backgrounds. And that's what I also love about K-pop because um, I met like this 50 year old white lady at BTS like, and she was like, oh yeah, my bias is um, J-Hope. And I was like, you're like, she's like as old as my mom. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my gosh, like K-pop just unites people and it's just so beautiful. So I wanna meet you guys there. And also my third favorite thing I love to do is traveling. Now, you know a girl is always going to Chicago because I'm an hour and a half away from there in my hometown. So I love to be, you know, traveling and that's why I got a new car so I can travel, oh God. <laughs> and so I just love 
just being on the road and being in airplanes, even though the first time I was in an airplane, I went to Jamaica and I was screaming for the entire five hour flight, but that's okay, we're not gonna talk about it. I just love just flying and exploring and being in new places I've never been. So if you guys are interested in watching me go along with this journey, there are a few things you can do. First, you can follow me and keep posted on Insta and Twitter. I will be posting a lot of my Super M tour challenge updates on there. And secondly, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in you know keeping up. If you have a place where you'd recommend me stay or if you know someone who would not mind lodging a 20 year old black girl, <laughs> well woman, 20 year old woman. <laughs> that was not meant to be weird. Okay, let's just move on. If you know anyone who is interested in lodging me, I do digital marketing. I own a digital marketing agency. So if you guys have a business and you want me to do stuff, give you advice, do stuff for your business in exchange for a night to stay wherever you live, let me know. I will definitely do that because I do not mind and I believe in the light and love of humanity. And I'm just so ready to do this challenge. If you guys wanna just watch me do the challenge. If you don't really have anything to give, that is okay, I totally understand. You can just subscribe and stay along to the journey because I will be recording every part of it. I will be vlogging every single place I go. Even if I'm in the middle, in the middle of Alabama, stranded like yeehaw. Did they say yeehaw in Alabama? <laughs> I don't even know <laughs> if you guys like no matter what happens like if I get stranded somewhere or if a bus breaks down or if I like meet if I become like a BFF with a homeless person you will know all of it because um I'm a TMI person if you guys are interested in following along like I said you can just subscribe and follow me on any social media if you guys have any resources that you'd like to you know give me or like a place to stay or thing like an album a picture of Lucas that you just printed out on your like shitty printer and you just send it to me I don't really care <laughs> anything any good energy is appreciated so thank you guys so much for watching like I said if you want to support me in any way just subscribe to the channel honestly like I'm just doing this for fun and if you want I, I guess you can I guess I can link my PayPal I mean you don't have to give me money I'm just saying like if you want to support in any way just let me know if you're like hey this person still also I don't have any tickets <laughs> I tried to buy tickets earlier this morning, but it didn't work. I actually was gonna get a VIP ticket to, to the Chicago date, but that didn't happen. So if you guys, like in any way, if you can help, please let me know. It can be anything. It can be lodging, it can be money, it could be, hey, here's this good cheap flight from here to here. It's, hey, I saw this person was selling this ticket for blah, blah, blah let me know honestly i'm just so excited to try this challenge and i cannot wait to meet other super m fans or xo nct or shiny fans also can we talk about um Taman when he comes in on what's that song was it i can't stand right no i think it's too fast like his vocals just like oh this coming mm. i love it <laughs> So this is why I need this is why I need to meet other super M stands in in real life because I just love communicating with y'all's people. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end and like the video and share it with whoever is like, okay, this this bitch is crazy, but uh, I want to see how this turns out <laughs> because I know she's gonna end up in the middle of the cornfield. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I'm from Michigan, so we got a lot of. <coughs> I'm from Michigan, so we got a lot of corn up here. Why, am I, why do I sound like that? What happened? What did I do? <laughs> so if you guys, I, I said the same outro like three times. Outro tear, awaken yourself. This is who's gonna be going across the country. So like I said, the tour dates are in the description and thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna support, like I told you, you know, you can do all those different ways and I will definitely be recording a process on Instagram. This is mainly where I communicate with you guys. Um, Twitter's okay, but you know, Twitter's kind of a fucking mess, so. <laughs> all right, I will see you guys very soon in the next video and au revoir. Oh my gosh, like Everglow. Goodbye, adios.
Goodbye, your body goes. Goodbye, your body goes. Bam, 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 bam,